Okay, so unlike other people, I have something to kind of get those images of The Walking Dead out of my head. And for me, it is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with a new episode called Lockup, which is appropriately titled because with a title like that and the setting of a prison, you know that some Attack on Precinct 13 type of shit is going to happen. And that's exactly what we get here. I liked that the episode opened up with how this thing works on people. I love the fact that we had that couple, which is one of them is Lucy and the other one was her husband, actually finding the Darkhold and actually seeing two different things when they're looking at the book. And that was kind of creepy. I love her line where she says that the book was reading them. That kind of gives this thing a power that makes sense for someone like Nick Fury to be afraid of. From that point on though, it kind of becomes like a procedural bottle type of episode where we have our team stuck in a prison and of course some shit's gonna go down. So whenever you throw in a villain and you have the team trying to work their way and escape the prison, you know that eventually there's going to be a moment where the villain has to flip the switch and open up all the doors and sure enough, we do get that moment here. And it just made up for a very fun episode it didn't really illustrate anything new except for what in my opinion was the big highlight and surprise surprise it's Ghost Rider once again emerging from beneath Robbie's skin where he has to take out that guy who was kind of involved with the gang that took out his brother or at least incapacitated his brother and probably murdered the rest of the children that were involved. What really terrified me however, what really struck me as a very terror fueled moment was when the dude was trying to keep all to himself, he was reading a Stephen King novel out of all things, keeping himself in the cell while the fight in the hall was going out and that was kind of a sign that yeah I'm trying to mature alright that those days are kind of behind me sure I'm still kind of like a douchebag type of gang member but at least I'm trying to make the effort but Ghost Rider don't give a shit you gotta pay for your sins and I love how Ghost Rider walks out of the cell and everybody's just so terrified that they go back into the cell they're like no fuck this shit I'm not gonna deal with that and here's the deal I said that this whole operation was kind of procedural but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. still manages to make it quite fun Mac with his shotgun axe the cool power especially here with Ghost Rider and of course May and Coulson kicking ass Coulson bringing out that shield once more to deflect the, the bullets that were being uh, shot at him by David Bowie, apparently. The only thing that I feel felt overly familiar to the point where I'm like, oh, do we really need this again is the whole thing with Daisy trying to separate herself and trying to save May and Coulson by locking them up and be like, this is my, f I feel like we've been in this situation before. Sure, it made for a cool action sequence with Daisy and the rest of those prison, uh, prison members in that cafeteria that kind of reminded me a little bit of a Jackie Chan type of choreography where she's like using the things around her to try, uh, to tr uh, in, in her advantage to try to kick their asses but at the same time her little exchange with them after the fight after they she gets rescued by them and later on her little conversation with May I just feel like we've done this thing way too many times with our character that I think I feel like she needs to move forward which is why I'm hoping that maybe by the mid-season break she does keep her word by saying hey after this operation I'm gone I'm gonna do my own thing. The only other interesting thing about the episode was that we got some more screen time with director Mace where he has a little press card or a little it's, it's almost like they knew that debates are very topical today with the presidential election that we gotta have a little bit of a d debate on our own with, between him and the senator who is opposed uh, to the the Inhumans and of course it made for a very routine debate and I kind of like the fact that Simmons was involved in this whole thing taking a break from her from her big cliffhanger from the last episode which is that she was gonna have to lie about Ada and what they're kind of keeping behind the scenes but the big highlight that I was not expecting and I think it was a very bold move to show how how much of a complex character this new director is going to be is him coming out <laughs> as an Inhuman and that was a very bold thing a very interesting thing that you do in fact see an awful lot of th in the media and in politics and that kind of thing and shit got even more complex when Simmons kind of called out on his lie about him being a hero in Vienna which I don't think we really got the full gist of it I never really I, I never knew any kind of history behind it. maybe it's something that I completely missed in the season premiere when we got our introduction well no, it wasn't the season premiere, it was the second episode where we got our fir formal introduction to Jerry Mace, the, the new director. At least, I think his first name is Jerry. So I'm hoping that that's something that gets fleshed out for his character, especially when we get a little stinger at the end of him meeting the senator. And it doesn't look like they're having an allegiance so much and of an agreement where, yeah, you know, we're trying to keep things kind of quiet, but she's still kind of against them. So I see this as a way to kind of complicate his character, to kind of make him not a villain, but not a full-on hero, but make him... Uh, give them different shades of gray. I just hope that they go 
they don't go full villain with him because I really did appreciate him coming out as an Inhuman live on air. It's something very bold that makes you almost like the character and make him much more of a compelling addition to this brand new season. Just don't ruin it, please. Just don't, don't make him a full-on villain because we kind of already had our fair share with that with Ward. I would be quick to say that this week's episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was kind of like a filler episode where we just had our characters kind of move from point A to point B, especially with Robbie's his uncle now being in the custody of Lucy and they kind of discover the book together and you can kind of tell from uh, Eli's face that maybe he could be kind of taken in by this power himself but that was mainly the object uh, the objective of this episode however there was enough here especially going on with the the brand new director and hit her, Simmons's tie with him that I felt was a bit more integral rather than to kind of retread familiar ground with Daisy so I'm gonna give lockup a low 8 out of 10. Still a good episode, but it's, please don't kind of retread familiar ground too much, especially with Daisy, that the season is going to become a chore because of it. So, anyways, those are my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this week's episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Do you think that Ghost Rider was badass once more walking down that hall looking like a G? Can't wait to see so many gifts of that because that was actually pretty cool. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video. And, of course, subscribe for everything else coming up for the remainder of October. Got Batman, the Telltale Episode 3 just came out. We got some more Walking Dead, some more playthroughs. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Thank you for listening to that very sappy public service announcement, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.